Rachel, what is scientific diving? Scientific diving is science done underwater whilst diving. And when did you start? Um, well, I started diving recreationally, actually, um, in Honduras. And I liked it so much that I became dive instructor. And then I was looking at a, a place where I could study marine science. And I came across SAMS and they have the National Facility for Scientific Diving here, where I was able to become part of it and be a member of that. And what was it about diving that inspired you to get into science? How oh, it's just, it's been right in the marine um, world, right? You can't, you can't be any closer to the ocean than whilst diving. So, I, I mean, everyone can see that you are kitted out to do some diving today. Yeah. I mean, what, what, what kind of equipment are, are you wearing? What is needed for diving in, in this environment? Well, it's usually pretty cold. So, at the moment, it's eight degrees out there. So usually we wear a dry suit, we wear a buoyancy jacket that allows us to stay neutrally buoyant, to float in the water. My mask, obviously, my fins, a torch, although it's probably not needed today. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, you've, you've run through, through some of the equipment, but what kind of methods would, would you use underwater? What, what do you need to discover? Well, we can use quite a variety of methods actually. We use underwater photography, underwater videoing, we can collect samples, do underwater surveys. Um, we also put instruments in place and we can take them back out. Um, and also one thing we do is underwater coring. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you have an example of that for us? Yes I do. So what you actually what you do is you take a core like this and underwater right and you push it into the bottom right and then it looks like this if I can show you here we go and what you have here is the sediment and then you can look at the fauna so the animals within the sediment and you also have nicely this interface so you can look at the animals on top of it and you have the water interface so it's it's basically it's fantastic tool for science and your enthusiasm comes across, you can, you can rest assured that. And I just wanted to ask you, with scientific te technology moving on apace, wh wh where, does, where does scientific diving come into this? I think that scientific diving has a large future because it's very accurate, it is uh, replicable, it is less disturbance and it is much cheaper. So I think there's a brilliant future in that. <laughs>